It's a beautiful and moody morning here in Kansandunga Base Camp. And we have just left to go on our summit push. Just below me on the right is our base camp, around 5,400 meters, just up on a rocky spur above the Yalong Glacier. And we are heading up today all the way to Camp 2, which is around 6,230 meters. And then over the course of the next few days, hopefully onwards and upwards to the summit. But it feels so good to be on our way after the long duration of an 8,000 meter expedition. We are finally on our summit push. So the first section uh, from base camp to Crampon Point is about 45 minutes or an hour. Just behind me here is the main base camp. Ours was situated just below this, but this is the main base camp. I think this year there was around 60 permits for Kansanjunga, and this is spring 22. But just in front of me here, you can see sort of the rocky, blocky moraine that's going to lead us up to Crampon Point. And just up there in the distance, you can see about five or six people who are just about to start on the fixed lines. Here we go. We're about halfway to Crampon Point now. We're going about 20 minutes. And this morning we left at about eight o'clock, uh, which is fine, like it should only take us four or five hours to get over to Camp Two. It's a really cool journey, but we should be at Crampon Point in about 20, 25 minutes. Here's Adam, one of my team, and Matt just ahead of him, meandering through these big blocks. Just down there you can see crampon point and a few people put their harnesses and crampons and helmets on. And right behind is the amazing looking Janu. Incredible looking peak. You can just see this the edge of uh, base camp down there and the grubby dirty Yalong glacier running out from base camp. If I come around here, we're now right on the toe of the glacier and there's a few folk up ahead just about to start the fixed lines. There's a really impressive uh, icy arch there, which will no doubt collapse at some point, hopefully not hurt anybody. But you can see the route today, uh, going up the shoulder and then it goes left through that rocky band, up past those seracs near the top and over across into camp one and then further into camp two. Here we go. Crampons are on, it's just gone nine o'clock. We're about 5,600 meters here. And we're on our summit push. Here we go. So it's just gone 10 o'clock. So we've been going about two hours. And although it's a bit cloudy, a really thin cloud, the temperature is still super warm. So I'm gonna have a break in a minute and take this red jacket off. There's a few other folk around today. It looks like the 12th of May is gonna be a popular day, but by popular, I mean 20 people. So you can see a couple of folk coming up the fixed lines down there and a couple more just up ahead. So straight out of Crampon Point, we're straight into sort of 45, 50 degree snow slopes with a few sort of shorter, steeper sections and then a couple of flat sections too. But all good so far, just a little bit hot. And we're about 5,800 meters. All right, so we've been going about two and a half hours. We've just reached the sort of first large plateau, uh, just under 6,000. This route's fantastic. But I don't know if you can see, but the, in between the clouds just behind me, we've got Janu 7711. Really cool looking mountain. 
And then uh, just up here, there's two peaks that we see a lot of during the climb. <clears throat> Absolutely beautiful. They're both about 7.4. Uh, see a couple of climbers just coming through there. But yeah, so nice to have a little bit of flat. Whew. So the next bit's really cool. There's a little traverse, a couple of rocky steps, past a couple of strap bands, and then up to the site of Camp 1. I'll give you a view of that in a minute when it clears again. So far, so good. Well on track to Camp 2. So from that plateau, here's a view looking back down. You can see the plateau here with the tent on it. And you can see a couple of climbers just coming across the traverse that I just did. Adam just at the back there, the fourth climber, one of my members of my team. And then from there it's to this corner and then up through this little gap for about 15 meters until we're back into steep snow again and heading up to the left of that Serac. This is a really cool bit of the climb. We just come underneath this Serac up on the right. Although it's not particularly scary, I don't want to stay here too long. And just ahead you can see Nick and uh, Mingwa Sherpa climbing up to this slightly steeper section just before there's a nice rest point uh, below Camp 1. And looking back, just down this snowfield, you can see Adam coming up just from the rocky corner there. And we are now above the clouds. And it is so cool. It's a beautiful day for it. It's a bit hot today, which means some of the snow is sticking in the teeth of Majuma, so have to, and then it slides on the, on the rope. So every now and then I have to scoop it out and uh, my crampons are balling up a little bit but that's okay, I can knock them clean. Otherwise we should be into camp one in maybe 20 minutes or so, half an hour. And then from there it's an easy, easy hour to camp to. It's just coming up to one o'clock and uh, we've just arrived at the site of Camp 1. Nowadays, uh, not, re not many people, if anybody, use Camp 1 uh, because actually from here to Camp 2 is only an hour uh, and a, roughly the same altitude, so uh, no one really uses it anymore. But the, it's a very dif distinct change in uh, features on the mountain. So down here, uh, we had a break for about 20 minutes at the bottom of these slopes and then there's about 80 meters of ascent up the usual sort of 40 degree snow slopes. You just see Rupert down there and a couple of Sherps coming up. And then like here is come one from here, we join this ridge and um, traverse across and over to where Mingma is. And then there's another ridge and a short abseil. So um, yeah, it all changes up from here. But yeah, so far today has been awesome. Clouds sort of coming and going. Um, temperatures fluctuating from boiling, boiling hot to putting a fleece back on, um, but yeah, all good. Uh, probably about another 45 minutes to an hour to get into camp two, and that's us done for the day. Absolutely mega. All right. So this is a really cool snow wreck that's connecting the first part of the mountain through to the second part of the mountain. So we've just gone past camp one, and actually, you can see camp two over there and we've got a, like a cool abseil traverse through some rocky ground and then actually a, a bit of a section through 
sort of a mini ice fall at the edge of a, a glacier, which is super cool. So yeah, yeah, this section is really interesting. Up ahead, we've got Mingma and Nick. And behind, we've got Adam, and Rupert, Tom, and Matt coming along nicely just behind them. Up the snow crest, we've got this little traverse here on this rocky shelf. And at the end of there where Mingma is, we're gonna abseil down to join in Larry in there. Super cool, really exciting. So we've just done this short sort of 30 meter abseil. Uh, it's not too steep. Um, so Nick's abseiling and I'm just down stepping. Really, really cool. Some nice steps in here. This is pretty much the only abseil on the way up, which is quite fun. Here's Adam coming down some pretty loose, rocky terrain, just on the edge of these huge, rocky slabs but we're soon going to be off this and uh, onto the glacier proper. It's so cool traveling through this terrain, but we've got to do it quite quickly. Right at the top there, you might be able to see Rupert waving. He's just coming into the top of the abseil. Here we go, onto some ice. Just over to the right, you can see that really broken up ice fall. Not that dissimilar to the Kumbu ice fall, but I'm thankfully we don't have to go anywhere near it. So we're only about 10 minutes in Camp 2 now, and we've just joined on to the glacier proper, which is really cool. It's proper like broken, uh, fractured glacier, loads of crevasses. But it's still there's a nice way that we're going to weave through. And we're almost. Oh, deep. Yeah. Almost in camp. Be about five hours, 15 minutes, five hours, half an hour. She's great. Really good from base camp to camp two, feeling good. And it's still a bit cloudy and claggy, but it's okay. Might be sunny tomorrow. Here we go, camp two. About five and a half hours from base camp. And we're now back at our comfy little home where we spent a few nights before, around 6,250. And uh, yeah, whole team is in, Sherps are in. It's time for a brew, a cup of tea. Maybe even a little bit of lunch. Oh, might have an Earl Grey. Might have a bit of tea. Lovely. Well, a very good morning from Kansan Junga Camp 2. Just behind me, the uh, whole team had a good night, good sleep, and uh, pretty psyched for today. As you can see, it's Bluebird, and it's already pretty hot. We chose to have a pretty lazy morning because we've only got four hours to get up to Camp 3 today. Uh, so we've left, it's just about nine o'clock now. But I'll do a quick 360. We're in this sort of big open coombe or basin. And today, we're heading straight up this sort of uh, rolling uh, glacier here. It weaves all the way up, quite amenably actually, uh, up to about six, nine where Camp 3 is. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be a really good day, probably a bit hot and uh, yeah, big heavy bags today, but it is beautiful. Let me show you around. So there's camp two. It's absolutely stunning. You can see a bit of wind ripping off the ridge right at the top there in the middle. And then this is the main glacier that we're gonna weave up. You might well be able to see the line of people. There's like uh, seven or eight people just down in front of me and two or three really up high up there. And then there's the main summit 
up in the middle there and then just the ridge that comes all the way around and uh, encompasses Camp 2. And these two beautiful looking peaks uh, overshadowing Camp 2. On the left is Talung 7349, absolutely awesome looking mountain. And just to the right is Caribou 1, the pointy one there, 7412. And actually, uh, you can't really see from here, but Caribou has four summits that run along that ridge uh, to the background. So cool, Talung and Caribou, and then the main sort of five different summits of Kansanjunga. It's quite hard for me to point out which one's which from here, but I'll uh, maybe try later. Nice, easy terrain this morning. First half an hour is flat along the glacier. And then it'll kick up eventually as we turn into the bottom of the glacier over there. So we're about 6,300 meters, uh, going about 15 minutes from camp two. It really is a beautiful day. It's gonna be hot, but that's all right. So on this expedition, I've got five members. I've got Nick, Matt, Tom, Rupert and Adam. All super experienced and really nice. And the team have been getting on well, really, really well actually, uh, all the way through and um, it's just been amazing to watch. And we've got six amazing Sherpas working with us as well. Pemba, Dawa, Tendi, Ankami, Lakpa and Mingma who have uh, been absolutely legendary so far and uh, really looking forward to working with six of them as we push through to the summit for the next few days. It's going to be absolutely awesome. I've been going about 45 minutes from Camp 2. We now come into the bottom of this huge cascading glacier that comes down from Camp 3. It's really beautiful. Lots of small seracs, not posing too much danger for us. And just weaving through various crevasses. It's really cool. So we've been going just over an hour. Uh, you can probably see Camp 2 just down below me there. Um, just on to like the first steeper bit, so kind of up to like 40 degrees as usual. Through a little bit. It's not very long, and then on top of here there's a good rest before a succession of long kind of 45, 50 degree snow slopes, which are quite hard work in the sun, but it's all good. Ticking along. It's a bit windy on the summit today but that's supposed to drop down over the next few days. But all going well. All good. Just looking back down the route, you can see a few folk sort of dot to dotting the route through these uh, broken crevasses and fractured ground about to come to. Pretty amazing. There's Adam just coming up at the bottom of the screen. All the snow's glistening from last night's clear skies. Bit of faceted crystals. You can see a few folk just there before they swing right and then head up back up through the middle of there. You can probably see the track on the screen. But lots of holes to avoid. It's pretty hot today, it's about 6,450. It's pretty hot. So we're about 6,600 now, and we're into this succession of long, steep snow, uh, snow faces. For like 45, 50 degrees in places, not many places to stop, but it's all good. And there's Janu, 7-7, looking absolutely magnificent. And that way is up to the summit up there. But first we've got to go up these slopes. 
still pretty hot, but there's a few sort of light gusts coming through, moving a little bit of uh, spin drift, which is actually really nice. Um, I kind of wish it'd do more often. Oh, it's pretty hot. But from here, we're looking at another two hours to camp. So that'll be sort of four, four and a half with a big pack. The guys are doing well. You can see them all just below. Oh, it's totally mega. After a few quite unrelenting snow slopes at about 50 degrees, there's a little traverse here, which takes us across a big crevasse and then cuts back into camp three. About 6,800 meters, so getting pretty high. You can feel the altitude. All right, we're doing great. We're now only about 80 meters below camp three. So around nearly 6,800. It's really cool. There's a slight breeze now, so it's cooled down a bit. But we're still above the clouds, which is always super special. Folk coming up down there. It'll be really nice to get to camp three soon. Just up here, we've got this like Serac band. to kind of go near and then cut off to the right into safety. And right at the top there on the rocky bit, you can see the summit. It's been a good day. Uh, but yeah, for another half an hour, we'll be in camp. And guess what? We're time for a cup of tea. Maybe. Oh boy. What that noise? Pretty cool crevasse here. Sort of right on the apex of Camp 3. Camp 3 is on top of there. Really cool crevasse. Kind of stood on top of it at the moment, but it's a snow bridge and it looks pretty safe. All good. Last half an hour into camp now, maybe 20 minutes. Here we go. First sightings of camp three, about six nine, and here's Lakpa, our legendary Sherpa. And it's amazing. Still above the clouds. There's Janu poking out. And a few of our team coming up. Five minutes from camp three. Absolutely awesome. I can't wait. So cool. Being above the clouds. It's one of the best things about being high in the mountains. Welcome to camp three. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Cup three, 6,900 meters. Awesome. Yes, Tim. Yes, Tim. You. Bit of tent life at Cup three. It's melting some snow. Enjoying the view. Look at that. Incredible. Special views from Camp 3, 6,900 meters. Good morning from uh, Katsunjunga Camp 3. So just behind me, you can see uh, the last uh, tents being taken down, and uh, we are on the move from Camp 3 to Camp 4. So straight out of camp. It's a pretty steep, sort of 55, 60 degree snow slope. I'll spin around. Up there you can see Adam and uh, Nick just around the corner. So this is breakfast. Straight out of camp, a couple of hundred meters, probably an hour or so, an hour and a half. And then I believe it flattens out. But it's a beautiful morning. Absolutely 
beautiful. See Jenny there behind, absolutely stunning. As you can see, we started on oxygen now. So we're like just, just below 7,000, we're starting on oxygen. And we use this through to the top. So this morning there's about 20, 25 people maximum, including Sherpas and everybody climbing, heading up from Camp 3 to Camp 4 to summit tonight. So it's a nice group, not too big. Should be quite sociable. Uh, yeah, hopefully the wind's die down, it could be nice and warm and a really lovely night. Yeah, I've got to keep going up to see how steep it is to the sunshine then I'm going to get far too hot because I'm wearing my down suit as you can see which is cool, it's, it's perfect right now but when the sun comes out it's going to be a little bit hot so we've just reached 7000 which means we've got about 120, 140 metres above come three and that is awesome 7000 is always a really good tick this is the way we just come up just along that traverse and then steep down into Cub 3, which we can no longer see. But you can down there see Cub 2 and the way out along the Yellow Glacier and back out. Here's Adam at the first little flat bit, just applying some more sun cream. It's pretty hot. So far, so good. Route to Camp 4. So it's a path a little bit. You can now see the summit on the route up behind Adam. Looks amazing. Tendi, one of us from Sherpa, two summits, super strong, and one of you today. So we've just topped out about 7,100 metres. Now we're going to make our way up, we can see some folks coming up, we're heading up here to come forward. And the summit is So for the last half an hour or so, we've just been uh, crossing this plateau here. And you can see uh, there's Rupert and Matt, Tom, Dawa, Tendi, all coming up. There's Adam. And uh, he's just about to kick back up again. So for the last flat hour, half an hour, he's now about to kick up uh, some steep. But we can see the summit. See the trail from the summit, from the people who had the summit a few days ago. <laughs> Just come across this amazing bit of glacier. So you have to climb down to the bottom, then you can see Nick and Mingma climbing back up. And then out onto the ridge. So cool. You can see all the folds going down going towards the big bottom This is Adam climbing at about 7340 Really cool, so we've just come down into the bottom place of the trough and then climbing back out the other side, pretty steep So cool Keeps on giving amazingness. So so cool. As 
you can probably tell, loving this mountain. Let's do this. So, so cool. So here comes Rupert down into the bottom of the crevasse. Uh, out back on the left in the flat, you can see some other climbers coming up. Matt and Tom are just having a little break down there. This is one of the most amazing things I've seen in glaciers. It's so cool. Rupert's just making his way down the bottom. Amazing. So the bed just over three hours. We've got two hours fifteen or so. And we've just got the first sight of Camp Four, which are about ten minutes away. Which is amazing. So it'll be less than four hours from Camp Three to Camp Four. Camp Four is around sort of seven four-ish. Between seven four and five. And from where I'm looking, I can see the whole route. Let me spin around for you. The whole route goes up there and then turns right on the skyline and goes up the rocky section. Literally can't wait. But let's get into camp first. Maybe have a little brew. Get all the team in, make sure everybody's good. And then settle in. We're going to be heading out about 8pm, 9pm this evening. So if it's just going nearly midday now, then yeah, we've only really got sort of nine hours to rest, chill and recuperate. Here you go, the boys. Looking in there, you can see some tents in Camp 4. And the route goes straight up the middle up there. Oh, awesome. And this is Adam. See clouds rolling in. Cloud top's about 7.4 max. So we've got that wonderful, amazing feeling of being above the clouds. Nothing really beats that, I'm afraid. Here we are, welcome to Camp 4. This is our final camp before tonight's summit push. What a place for a camp. Unbelievable. So here we go, time to settle in, brew up, drink, eat, rest, and we'll be out of here in about eight or nine hours. Camp 4, Cancel Junga. Alright. Alright, so it's just gone 9 o'clock uh, and we're heading out for the summit of Katsunjunga. Uh The team all sort of left between 8 and 9, so we've got everybody out in good order and everybody is feeling good. It's like a really long way, but it's going to be an amazing night. The stars are out, there's hardly any wind. And I've got Ankarni here, looking out to So we're going to try and catch up with the others and then shuffle along. And uh, yeah, just look after ourselves and have a really good summer night. So we're going just over an hour. This has gradually been getting slightly steeper and steeper. But nothing, uh, nothing too steep until now. And we're on to a sort of 40 degree, quite hard neve slope. Some big seracs to the left. And uh, there's like a few steeper sort of 70 degree bulges as well. See if we can have a look. Uh, it's really calm night, it's quite warm. So far so good. Long way to go.
Now let's just go on half past one in the morning. And we're still going up. But my watch says 8,030 meters. So that's really, really cool. Starting to get a bit tired and sleepy. Because it's yeah, half past one in the morning, but yeah. Ticking the 8,000 meter barrier is a really cool tick. So far, the team are doing well, making good progress. We have 500 meters to go. Hey, summer nights never get any easier. Oh, okay. So, man, take your time. It's all good. So about 8,100, maybe just under, and the route uh, is the sharp left, and traversing right across the slope. Which is quite fun. This is the rest of the team ahead. Everybody's doing well, we're all together. Which is quite fun. Nearly, nearly 4.30 and uh, about 8,300. We've just come across our first sort of rocky technical step. Is that cool? Looks like a succession of little steps for about 15, 20 meters. So there's Nick, and then just ahead. Not climbing to 8,200. I don't think you'll be able to see it, but the first rays of light are obviously coming up because the peaks across the way are starting to show up out of the darkness. So it's just gone 5 o'clock in the morning. And the sun is coming up on a beautiful day here. We're at about 8,350. So we've only got far to go. Maybe an hour or two. Here up here. It's been really cool, cool night. It's really good to turn the head torch off there and uh, get, some, get some sunlight. Oh, I'm really tired after this one. It's a big summer day. It's done half past five. We've got 8,400 meters. So we've got 150 to go. Up here to the left, I think. There's a beautiful way. Tarlan and Cabri. Danny, just catching the sun. First time we can see lots of peaks in the distance. I have to say it's been pretty unrelentingly steep all night slash morning. And uh, there are very few, if any, flat bits, but um, fingers crossed it's not too far to the top. Maybe an hour. That would be good. But we're out of here. Oh my god, unbelievably cool. Who's your phone? Just gone six, and we're about 120 meters below the summit, which is just right there. Tantalizingly close, yet still quite a long way to go. It's a beautiful morning. Yeah. The view is amazing. So steep. It's non stop. Steep, rocky. Good snow, though. Good snow. 
just went out of half early. Just makes it never gonna die. And we're super close to the summit. Maybe 20, 30 meters. And we're just traversing high to these rocky grounds. Just on the bridge. And, uh, yeah, I'm just so excited for the summit. Mm. And, uh, exactly on the 50 o'clock on the 10th of May. Summit of Council Jungle. Get in there. Look. Woo! 